What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Gigi, baby. Um, first of all, happy Tuesday. Girl, this shirt just do not want me to be great. Like, stop trying to show my bra strap. I just want to check in with you guys. I'm out and about. I just came back from the mall. I was trying to, like... I'm basically trying to build my fall wardrobe because I'm trying to be ready for this season that's coming up because i literally do not have any fall nothing like i don't have no hoodies no nothing so i'm trying to like build up my wardrobe so i'll be trying to go to the mall every now and then but y'all know i had to pull up to nothing but cake gotta have a nothing on cake i don't know what flavor i'm gonna get to what flavor are you getting babe no, no. Mm -hmm. chocolate yeah. let's see what we get in today I think I'm gonna try the snickerdoodle. I told you they don't have carrot cake. They do, right here. I don't think I want lemon today. Yeah. I got snickerdoodle today. I normally get lemon, but oh, yeah, this, is. this gonna work. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a cinnamon roll. Mm. What's up, y'all? I made it back home. I'm about to make Cheesecake Factory or cheese pasta. I'm waiting for the water to finish boiling right now. And I'm about to throw my noodles in there. But I'm gonna keep you guys updated with the process. Actually, while my water is boiling, I'm about to go change my clothes because, baby, it's hot. And these jeans is hot. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. For the four cheese pasta, you need the ricotta cheese the parmesan cheese and the mozzarella cheese i get everything from trader joe's so it's up to you where you want to get the stuff from and i get the trader uh, joe's three cheese pasta so Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. I'm about to be on my way to work. I have this new hire, new grad retreat thing. It's from 8 to 2. So we're about to see what that be like. I know for sure we're doing yoga. I got my yoga mat. And I got on this cute little two set from... This two set. This two piece set from Amazon. This color is like hidden on my skin tone like for real. I'm super excited. We're about to see what today is like. I think they're gonna give us some lunch because I did not pack lunch, so I hope so. But yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get there though, because it's 6 57, I need to be on my way. Let me see what time I'm gonna get there. 
and when I get home, I need to wash my hair because I, I end up canceling my hair appointment because it's just too hot. It's just too hot. And then I was just going to go and get my um and get my hair washed and blow dry. But I'm like, I could do that shit at home. Honestly, like it's too hot to be getting pressed. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to get there literally, literally, literally at 752. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys later. What's up, y'all? I am done with my class. Who I feel so rejuvenated, relaxed. That was good. I really like that. I'm so happy I was able to do that. Because I never did yoga before, so definitely. Definitely feel good. I feel light. And then they provided lunch for us. Ooh, it was good too. Like, I'm full, but I'm not like a heavy full. I'm a good full. Like, so I'm about to be on my way home. And I need to wash my hair and stuff. So. I'm going to talk to you guys when I get to the crib. <laughs> I've been home for a minute, but my silly self left my camera in my car. And I literally just went downstairs to pick it. <laughs> I literally waited to 7 o'clock to go get it. And I'm like, let me get it. Because I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys tomorrow. I'm like, let me get my camera. Because if I don't feel like going down there right now, I'm not going to feel like going down there tomorrow. But I end up washing my hair. I just did like a twist out thing. It's girl, I ain't messing with it. And I had used this deep conditioner. I had seen one of my um one of my um friends post it and at Target it was like $15. So when me and my mom went to Marshall's, I had seen it and it was it was only eight dollars, y'all. So um is Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. It has black castor oil and biotin. So far, I love the way it smells. And I like how it had my hair feeling super soft. And also, before I bought this, I used the Miel um, deep conditioner too. It has biotin and it encouraged growth. I use that along with this hair growth oil. And so far, I literally been seeing a difference, especially when I have my weaves back to back in those braids. I feel like I seen a difference because my back, the back of my hair is so thick and it got longer. So probably when it cooled down, I'm going to run my weave back. What's up, y'all? Happy Thursday. I've been up for a minute. I think I've been up since like eight o'clock. I have read my book, Atomic Habits. Oh, my God, that book is love it um what else did i do i journaled a little bit straightened up and now i'm about to do a quick little unboxing with you guys from some of the nurse brands that sent me a couple things and also my hair did not come out right that's why i got this hat on y'all like my new hat it's super cute y'all know i love a good hat okay so the first brand we're gonna start with is Lego. so every scrub that they make is made out of recycled bottles which is pretty cool so for example these pants was made out of eight bottles eight bottles so anyway these are joggers they're nice they're blue they're very comfy and i got this in a size large as well i feel like their uh their scrubs are true to size um, what really what I like about this blue is this is this burnt burnt orange drawstring like it's really giving super cute. The only thing is I can't wear it to work because they're not my color, but it's really cute. And then 
they sent me this the scrub top a traditional scrub top with pockets as well so this scrub top took six bottles so yeah so i really like what their brands stand for like everything is you know made out of recycled materials i love that saving the planet okay next up is dolan okay i love dolan they reached out to me I love them because they come in Caribbean blue and y'all know that at work, the registered nurses has to wear Caribbean blue. So I noticed with them, their scrubs do run a little smaller. So in this shirt, I got a 2X and I like on the back, it says, you've got this. I love this. I'm actually wearing this scrub set tonight on my first solo shift because I need those little reminders like, baby girl, you got this. Although this is your first night by yourself, but you got this, okay? And I didn't go with the um, with the traditional scrub top. I want to try something different. So yeah, I really like this. And with them is that every scrub set that is bought, they give back to um, you know the less fortunate to clean their laundry. So I love I love when brands actually stand for something like I love that and their pins i got the joggers as well i'm just so in love with joggers like i do not like the traditional scrub pants anymore like i don't like the white leg pants i love the joggers they just look so new so fresh like love it but i love these scrub pants because they got so many pockets oh my god i love pockets i need a pocket for my cell phone my pins my report sheet like i literally need so many pockets this is super cute. And I got the pants and an extra large because when they sent me the large, they did not fit because you know, your girl got a little booty and thighs, okay? So it did, definitely did not fit. So I had to go up a size on the shirt and the pants because they just was a little too tight. But the material on both of these scrubs is a match. Like, I feel like you'd be so hyped on certain uh, scrub brands, but it's like other scrub brands out here too that is really well and very affordable. But in my description box, I will have the link to both of those scrubs and also my discount code. Lastly, I got a package from Gales. Gales is Smart PPE Footwear. They sent me this. Also, you guys can use my code as well. But these are some scrub shoes. They are super cute. They are a wear material though. It's like, it's giving styrofoam, but they're very comfortable though. So yeah, I am super excited. Thank you to all the brands who sent me these wonderful items because y'all know nurses love scrubs, baby. You feel me? Nurses love a new scrub set. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this one tonight. I'm excited. The only thing is I need to figure out what jacket I'm gonna wear. I probably just wear a crew neck when it get cold cause y'all know it get cold during night shift. And this scrub top is a scrub top. You don't wear a undershirt under it. So yeah. But I'm thinking about doing a giveaway with this scrub set. So once I figure out how I'm gonna do it, well, hopefully the person wear a large, but yeah. I might do a giveaway because I never wore them. I just did my content in them and then that was it. But yeah, they're comfortable though. I love it. But anyway, I am about to chill. It is 10.55. I go to work tonight. My lunch is just packed already. I had meal prepped yesterday and Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much done in that area. So I'm gonna just chill. I'm not about to force myself to go to sleep because y'all know I always say for sleep is not good sleep. So I'm just about to chill. I'm probably about to watch Thor. I know Disney just uploaded Pinocchio and Thor on Disney Plus. So I might chill and watch that for a little bit. And then when I, you know, feel myself getting sleepy down the head to the bed. But I'm super excited for my shift tonight. Mixed emotions, but yeah my educator that you know onboards the new grads and the new hire she was telling me as soon as i get to work tell the charge nurse like hey today's my first day you know just so they can keep an eye on me and also my preceptor um works tonight too so that's cool as well like just to have that extra support 
So if I need anything, I know she's on the floor as well. But we shall see what tonight brings. But I'm going to talk to you guys later. And again, every item that I showed you guys right now is going to be in my description box. So check that out. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. to work so i got on this cute little scrub sack from dolan like i was telling you guys i switched the shirt like as you can see the shirt is like not a traditional scrub top it's like the new you know the new millennium millennium scrub top so i want to give it a try um my boyfriend was talking shit he always talks shit though he's like i don't think i like <laughs> it's gonna look like a poncho or something i don't know i just want it to be different because i always wear the regular v-neck when I wear a scrub top, but I normally don't wear scrub tops as y'all can see. I normally have my crew neck zone or or like a T. But I just feel like this scrub set, you know, means a lot because it has like you've got this like written on a scrub a couple times and I feel like I just wanted to wear this so you know when I start my shift, you've got this girl, you know what you're doing, you feel me? So and it's hot it's too hot to be having a crew neck on because i don't know what what's the weather like in the hospital but sometimes when i get to my unit it do be hot in the beginning of the shift and then it cools down around like 12 1 but you know babies can't regulate their own temperature so most of the time when i'm in those rooms it is warm so i'm like you know what we ain't doing that today we're gonna put on this cute little scrub set and it's caribbean blue so we about to wear this okay and then i work friday night and saturday night as well so i'll wear my um my t-shirts my t-shirts because it's too hot it's too hot for a crew neck right now but yeah i'm debating if i want to go to i'm debating if i want to go to starbucks or not i might because i left a little early just to get myself situated I always like to be on the floor by 6.30. Like, not on the floor, but <clears throat> up on my unit by 6.30 so I can get everything in order. Because y'all know I use my own report sheet, so I want to make sure my report sheet is printed. Um, get my phone, check my assignment. And it's different now because I'm by myself. So I feel like today I need to make sure I get there early so I get myself situated. I'm not hungry, so that's good. I'm good. I had a little snack before I left the house um what else and then I'm thinking about going to Starbucks though so we'll see but yeah so I just wanted to get to work a little earlier today get myself situated do some deep breathing exercises because again this is my first night by myself and then I want to be able to chit chat with the charge nurse if I get there late somebody's gonna already talk to her so I'm gonna you know let the charge nurse know like hey today is my first shift by myself and it's a little traffic so i am glad i left early but yeah i might go to starbucks but i just feel like does milk and heat heat mix like you feel me because it's hot but i want a matcha i feel like i deserve a matcha for today so for your first day by yourself gg we're gonna get a matcha so actually i am gonna go to starbucks but i'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit I'm at Starbucks. It's 608. About to get me a Starbucks. I wanted to get a bigger one, but I don't want my star my like my drink to just be sitting. Like I like to drink it. I notice a lot of my coworkers, they just be letting like they just be leaving their Starbucks in regular places and it be all watery and stuff. That's like a waste of money. Just having it just sit. Cause I know it's not hitting the same after it didn't set for like five hours. Like, no.
Yes. Thank you. Would you like a straw? Yes, please. Thank you. Your hair is on point too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Would you like to receive? No, it's okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Got my matcha. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just shake it just a tiny bit. Because ever since I spilt it that last time, I don't like I don't shake it a lot. But let me see what is let me see. I just didn't turn off the AC because I got cold. Let me turn it back on because now it's like filling. I like when people ask me, do I want a straw? Yes, yes I do. Yes, yes, yes I do. Oh. Mm. This is so good. Oh, yes. That matcha was... Ooh, that matcha is good. <laughs> Somebody asked me on, um, on Instagram because I posted it. They was like... Is it caffeine in there? Barely, and I don't drink it for the caffeine. I drink it because it's good. <laughs> um, I really do only drink it because it's good. Like, I don't drink it for the caffeine. And I think it barely has caffeine in there. That shit is good. And I also drink it because, say, when I woke up from my nap, if I didn't eat, I drink that because that keeps me full for a little bit until, like, 11 o'clock. Then I'll take my 15-minute um, my break and eat one of my, um, my lunches. That's another reason why I drink it. It kind of helps balance out my food a little bit. Because the milk keeps you full that's in there. So that's another reason why I was drinking. Because <laughs> I notice I could be like... Because, you know, I notice, like, since I've been an RN, sometimes you don't know when you're going to be able to take your 15-minute, like, I'm telling you, versus when you was, uh, when I was a CNA, I would take my vitals, and then I would go eat. But as an RN, you never know. So that's so why that's why I be prepared. You feel me? I'd be prepared, baby. Because. Mm -mm. You never know. You never know. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to talk to you guys when I get to work. I'm, like, five minutes away. I just had to stop at that Starbucks because the Starbucks at my job costs away. Costs away. Oh, I hate when my, sh my shit fall. But um, I had to stop at that Starbucks because the one that's at my job is, is way more. And I don't know when I'm, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be able to go downstairs because they close at 10. So... It all depends. And then my order is, like, different. So, you know, some people be paying with car and all that. And I never have cash. So, it be, like, a lot. Like, because they be like, Venmo me, girl. I don't have a Venmo. Do you have Apple Pay Cash App or so? That's the only thing I have. So, if you don't have that, then you're not getting your money. I'm just like. 
But yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, that was disgusting. I just seen the guy drop his air pot and put it back in his ear. Mm. To each his own, I'm not judging. I just got to work. I just got to work. Hey, we about to have a good shift. We about to have a good shift. Hey. I just got to work and I'm about to have a good shift. About to have a good shift. We ain't stressing. We gonna take it hour by hour. Hey. Yep. Mm. Shit. Alright, y'all. I had to do my little my little chant before the before the shift begins. It is 6.24, so it's going to take me like five minutes to walk over there. Where am I thing at? Oh, I have this thing actually to hold, to hold my, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. I love this thing. It's like for my mask, so it won't be annoying on my ear. Somebody at my sister job made it. I got this color and another one but i like to use this because my ears be burning after this 12 hour shift but not with that all right y'all we ready we about to have a good shift um y'all already know when i get off we always go over you know how my shift was how it could have been better whatever but yeah so i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get off in the morning up y'all i am on my way to work tell me why it is raining and it's 75 degrees out here like what is going on it's crazy because it's still hot like i rolled down my window just to see if i felt like any coldness no no coldness don't don't judge me i have on my scarf because i need my hair to be laid okay laid Y'all hear that? That's crazy. And all I got is this little jacket. I got an umbrella in my trunk, I think. I hope I hope so. I hope I got an umbrella in my trunk. I think I do. But y'all know what I'm... That's my... First of all, that's my windshield wipers. I'm gonna need them not to embarrass me like that. Because... Y'all hear that? That is crazy to me. And it's 75 degrees. Why is it raining? I love this weather, but I don't like being in it. I'd rather being in my bed, watching a good movie, and relaxing. I'm so excited for this weather, but I need to be colder, not hot. It's giving like, what do you be saying? It's giving earthquake weather. People always say something to me. But yeah, y'all, anyway, like I was saying, I am on my way to work, and I am going to stop at Starbucks. This is night two for me. We will have another good night, like we did last night. It was busy, but it was good. You know, it could have been worse, but it wasn't. So, yes, we're going to have a good shift. And I just want to say thank you to my supporters. Like, y'all be showing out for me. My DMs was, like, flooded with good luck messages. You got this. Inspiration messages. Like... Y'all really be making me feel so good, and I'm so thankful for you guys, because y'all don't play about me, and I don't play about y'all either, so, yeah, that was so nice, like, I literally was going down my DMs yesterday, last night, when I had some free time, I'm like, oh my god, these messages are so nice, thoughtful, like, really made me feel good, like, really was like, don't worry, you got this, but yeah. Anyway, y'all, let me pay attention because it is raining. So I'm going to talk to you guys probably in the morning. Because I probably won't even pick up my camera again when I get to, uh, when I pull up to my job. And my battery is about to die because I did not charge my camera. I was just trying to get to bed because I was, I was whooped last, from last night. What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday. Your girl is up. I got off work this morning. I have successfully finished my first week, so my first solo week, okay? And I feel like I did good, like I really feel like I did good. And I know every shift is gonna be better. I'm gonna get better every shift. And then um, 
I feel like I had a lot of support from my coworkers. Like any little thing that I needed help with or I needed a question or I was unsure of, they were there to help me. So that is a big thing. Like, you know, like when you coming off orientation, you not knowing like if you don't have help. Cause you know, they always be like, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. Okay, but when I need help, I need you to come through and baby, my coworkers came through several times. So they helped me, you know, they helped my three shifts um, be smooth. But yeah, I'm super excited I got that out the way. I feel like I feel like I'm, you know, I'm I'm getting comfortable every shift, like with different stuff. Like I had one patient who was on insulin and I never gave insulin before, even when I was in nursing school, never gave insulin. So I asked my trainer, it's like, hey, can you walk um, you know, walk with me, can you assist me through the steps so, you know, I can give this insulin. And now I know how to do it, like you draw up what you need and then you get your label, take it to your patient room, scan it in, boom, give them their, their insulin. So that was like pretty cool. Cause I'm like, dang, what needle, you feel me? Cause I feel like nursing school do not teach you to be a nurse. Nursing school just teach you how to pass those ATI exams, those proctored exams but it don't really teach you how to be a nurse. The new grad program teaches you how to be a nurse. You being with your preceptors, you being on your own, that full year of new grad program, that helps you to build your skills and you being a nurse. So I feel like every day I'm learning something different. And it's so funny because people think mother and baby is super like chill, you're just holding babies. Sometimes you can get, you know, sometimes you get like, especially at my job, like we're literally the baby factory, baby. We be, l &D was jumping these last three days and I heard that they're cracking tonight too. So it be busy, you know, we get in admissions quick, you feel me? And you have to assess, you have, you basically have eight patients, you have mom plus the baby. So, um, so I just feel like these last three days made me realize like I'm capable and I could do a lot of things like when I I started with three patients one day and then um, I discharged one and then I was open for two more patients and mind you normally when you get admission you get a break baby I did not have no break like literally after I was done admitting one it was another one rolling down the hall so I just feel like I accomplished that like being able to you know, be a team player, not complain, like, why am I getting a mission? Like, just do what you got to do. If you need help, delegate, ask the charge nurse, ask nursery if they can admit your baby, like, just all hands on deck. And I feel like I really prevailed in that situation because, you know, I could have, I kept that shit player. Like, I literally could have just been like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, this not fair. But I'm like, you know what? Got to do what I got to do. Because, you know, sometimes shit happens you know sometimes you'll not be fully staffed so you will be admitting back to back like that but overall i feel good i'm super excited to go back to work next week because i just feel like the more you at work the better you get with just patient care teaching learning different stuff but baby let me tell y'all i'm still struggling with that iv like my iv was beeping because it was like air in the line and the air was all it was just it was just no so I asked one of my coworkers, like, you got any change before my battery died? She was showing me different ways how I can um, get the air out the line because, you know, I don't know all these tricks. So that was good. Just having that support, I just feel like I had so much support. And that's what I love. So, so yeah, that was my, uh, that was my shifts. Oh, I did not even tell y'all. So one of my patients gave me, first of all, I left the gift card in card in my car, but one of my patients gave me, a, so basically I went in my patient room like before the change of shift and I just was making sure her pain was under control, making sure she was straight and she handed me a card and it was like, thank you. And it said, Gigi, thank you for taking care of us. We appreciate you. And then she gave me a Starbucks gift card. Maybe. That is the key to my heart, a Starbucks gift card. But anyway, that just made me feel super good because this was literally my first week by myself. And like, they were new parents. And then just just knowing that I helped them in so many ways, like that made me feel good. Like, dang, I know what I'm doing, kind of. <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing. 
So that felt good. I love it here. But let me see, when do I go back to work anyway? I go back to work next Thursday. So your girl is off for four days. I'm about to live it up. I need to get back on my gym shit tomorrow. So we're definitely working out tomorrow. And I need to edit this vlog so I can have it to you guys. I normally like to upload my vlog on Sundays. But since I worked Saturday night and got off this morning, I was not, no. Um, edit this vlog tomorrow. And then, um, and then have it up by like Tuesday. But yeah, I am just about to chill for the rest of the day. I feel like I'm real wet, well rested. I got like six hours of sleep. So I'll probably be back in bed by like 10 or 11. I literally have the best man ever, but he went to Trader Joe's and he grabbed my favorite wine. I'm about to pour me a glass right now. This is for having the perfect first three days, three shifts as a RN. Cheers, but anyway, y'all, I'm gonna talk to you guys later.